Hey everybody, Howard here, um, doing one of hopefully many tutorials. Um, wanted to kind of go over glitching a little bit, um, noticing on forums and on a bunch of different websites, uh, you know, people are always asking the questions how to glitch and how to do glitching and everything. And, um, and you know, people always suggest Deep Blue Glitch or Effectrix by Sugar Bites. And uh, those are great and all, especially for uh, Effectrix for live performance. But to me, you just don't have enough control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do glitching in Ableton Live, um, uh, kind of like a live performance way as well as kind of drawing it into your production. So um, here we go. What you can see here is we have our audio. This is just a, just a standard loop uh, going on over here. I'll play to you exactly what it sounds like. Very nice. Um, just for uh, sake of saving time, what I did, I brought in a simpler, okay, uh, simpler right over here, and I and I drug my loop in. This is my loop. Complete control. All right, very nice. So um, that's my loop, and what I did was while it was in here, I did a right click and I grouped it. Now this is where you can uh, draw in macros and you know do multiple effects and everything. So um, what I did uh, to make life a bit easy. Um, was I mean you don't have to do it this way I, I like to do it this way is um, I mapped the transpose function that's one way of glitching that I'm going to show you and the other way of glitching is the start time and the length alright so right here's the start right here is the length and make sure you hit the loop button alright so um, that's gonna be where you can also do loop as well if you prefer but uh, play around with that at your own you know, when you're playing around with it, at least you get like a general idea. So um, now that we have this over here, uh, I will go ahead and uh, give you a, a pretty close idea. I'll go ahead and delete this track uh, now that we have this up and running. All right. And I will show you what I have going. So uh, we have everything mapped. Okay. This is the, uh, this is our, you know, arrange view, obviously. Um, what I did, what I did was, you could see over here, this is all done with an APC 40. Um, it's done live. So, you know, I can kind of play around with it and loop it around and I really, really suggest doing this. Um, it kind of gives it more of a human feel and human effect to everything and then kind of clean it up as you uh, go through, you know, to get like more precise control and precise actions um, to the, your glitching to like what you want to do. Um, so what I did was this top one right here, uh, this is strictly for, uh, this is for the transpose, so we'll do a transpose. All right, transpose. And this is, this uh, third track is strictly for start and length. All right, so now we know which one, and this is the beat obviously playing right here, just our standard loop. So um, now that we have the transpose all up, um, we can go ahead and draw in a little bit of automation. So uh, here's what you could do is maybe, so that's just your regular part playing right here. Let's just do this. And then for this section, bring it down a couple semitones. For this section, bring it up. This section, let's just play regular. This section right here, bring it down. And then over here, we'll just do this little bit, draw that up. This section right here, oops. Draw it up even more. And just for fun, this section, draw that up even a little bit more. And then this section will bring it down now from here what you could do you can kind of play around a little bit more you know do like some ramps and some adjustments and all that um, you know maybe do something like that or you know maybe actually let's get rid of that um, maybe do something like that and and you know uh, and whatever you know so let's listen back and see how that sounds uh, make sure that that's the only Complete control, 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 complete control,
control is complete. Complete control. Complete control. Complete control. Complete control. Complete control. So there you go. So that's our uh, that's our transpose function, and um, let's take a listen to how it sounds uh, compared to what was done with the APC40. So. Complete control. 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 So there you go. So that's the transpose, uh, transpose form of glitching, um, and uh, you know that's uh, that's the one way to do it. So now let's uh, let's do the exact same thing um, with our start and uh, length. Now the start the start is basically just for glitching different specific parts of the sample. Um, I it's kind of hard to do drawing in. I I really really like the live performance section of this uh, this aspect, but the the end time is very very easy to do. Um, and uh, to manipulate the start time, you can kind of just go in and you know draw it in yourself. But once again, this is great to map to MIDI and do it that way. So um, let's go ahead and let's do our length. All right. Um, so then, actually, let's go ahead and do our start time so that it is hitting a specific part like right in here so um, that's where uh, just kind of hard to get it right there you go that's good enough um, and let's do the length let's say same thing with here let's, let's bring that down all the way um, this right here right in there kind of bring it down just to give a good idea bring that down that down all the way and on this section let's do a little bit of ramping same thing here actually let's draw that in there and then bring that up and then vice versa. Let's bring that down. Let's just see how that sounds. Complete. Actually, let's turn that on and turn this one off. There we go. Big control, 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 how a human humanistic a feel has to it. So here you go. Complete control, complete control, complete 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 control, complete complete control, 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 complete uh, the start and one was on the length so like I was moving both of them around and and you know I could you know more humanistically go to different parts of the sample and go ahead and glitch the different parts and stuff and you know a lot of it's just playing around you know maybe if you want just do like a really really long loop and then just go ahead and you know twist and turn and do like some crazy stuff or whatever and then uh, then basically you can cut and paste what you like the best so um, that's what I suggest, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and uh, I'll answer them the best that I can. So uh, hopefully this is one of many. Thanks, guys. See you next time.